Happy New Year guys! Today we're swapping over our old shop body mounts with a brand new kit from Terrain Tamer. This was a pricey kit at $1500 but with the state of our mounts we don't have a choice. Some people make their own bushes out of neoprene but we don't have the time or the expertise so this is our only option. For this job you'll need all of this and it'll probably take you an afternoon. Each body mount is comprised of a bolt, two bushes, two washers and two nuts. In the days leading up to this job I sprayed all the mounts with WD-40. It'll hopefully help loosen up all the bolts and all the rubbers. So first things first, we want to get rid of this bush and these two nuts that hold it on. So whack your 14mm spanner or ratchet up the top and then get the 14mm on your breaker bar and go for your life. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe. Our New Year's resolution is to hit 5k by the end of the year and just maybe we'll do something special for you guys, we just haven't decided what. So. If you've got an awesome idea for us, something like buying a Range Rover, flying to Africa and driving over there, blowing up the 60 series with grenades, drop a comment below and we just might do it for you. Make sure to subscribe. Once you crack it, you can obviously move to your spanner. And there you go, that's the first nut. So basically same process for the second nut. Break a bar straight on there, and then around you go. And when your ratchet eventually falls off the top, call in the MISO for help. Fire out that stupid tight one that's actually undoing the nut. How is that angle? Is this bolt bent? Looks like it. Looks like the bolt. Because it's not on that angle at the top. Yeah, it looks like the bolt's been bent. You okay? Yep. Well, snapped she snapped. The good news is they don't thread into the body or the chassis. So if they snap, you just pull them out. Uh, unless they're bent. I'll tap it up for you. So it's basically the same process for the other five mounts, but there are two that are slightly different. The second from the back has a little cap, just like this. That, ignore the in-progress rust repairs, hides the body mount right down there. So use your deep socket down there. And a spanner on the bottom. Oop. Thanks, Steve. No worries. And here we go on the top. This one's coming way easier than the last one. Cool. So we just pull that off. Often it's a little bit stuck on the crush tube. Oh, bit of rust holding that in place, I think. Yeah, look at that. Chunks of rust. Was that a washer? What's left of that washer. The body mount at the front of the cab is the same process. There's just a little cap covering it. Whack your deep socket on and undo it from the bottom. Cool. Another one done. Crush tube came out with that one, but it was put in wrong. So don't trust it. Body mount number three next. to come out. Nope. Where's old hammer? I swear to god I am hitting that. I'll move on for now. The very back mount is hidden behind this plate and these two rusty screws. I hope your 60s is in better nick than this. I just bent the plate up. Now that the bottom bushes and nuts are off, it's time to jack up the body of the car. So I'm using these three planks of wood and jacking up off the sill. So normally you wouldn't have to go that high, just enough to get the top bush out. But remember, body mount number three was stuck. So now we should be able to wiggle this bush and hopefully it'll come off 
with the crush tube and let us take the bolt out. Well, the next best option is fire. Then when none of that worked, like any respectable man would, I chopped the head of the bolt off. Now that the tricky one is done, the rest should just slip out easily. Since the light's fading, I'm just gonna pop in that top bush and the bolt, and then we can take the car off the jack, and I'll come back, finish it tomorrow. And number six. Oh, there we go. And that's the last one, isn't it? Yeah. So now we can drop her down and finish this tomorrow. So the magic of editing is the next morning. Well, actually no it's not, it's the next afternoon and it's really freaking hot. So I'm gonna try and get through this as quickly as possible. Get your bottom bush, get your crush tube, get your washer and your bag of nuts, assemble them all and whack them on the bolt. If you do them separately, things will fall off and it'll make your life hell. So whack it all together and put it straight on the bolt, tighten it all up and you should be sweet. Now you're gonna repeat that on the other four mounts. Next we're gonna just tighten up that bottom nut. Chuck a spanner on top and do it up until the bush is just slightly squished and then turn it back off a little bit. You don't wanna crush your bush. And on to the next. Once those ones are all tightened, grab the other type of nut, pop them underneath with some thread locker, just so that your body mounts actually stay on while you're driving over corrugations and you bring your cab with the chassis on the trip. Now the process is exactly the same for the other side of the car, so I don't need to show you that again. Just re-watch the video and pretend I'm on the passenger side. But the front two mounts are a bit different, so I've brought in Jess to help me with these. The major difference is that they're only attached to this front radiator mounting panel, which means if you've got the car in pieces like we do, you can lift it straight up without a jack. And that's how you do the body mounts on a 60 series. It's exactly the same for a body lift, but you need longer bolts and more bushes. Unfortunately for us, we need to get this thing over the pits and we're already at the 50 mil height limit with our springs, so we can't do that. Anyway, make sure to subscribe. We need your help to meet our new year's resolution of 5,000 subs in 2023. Let's make it happen.